This video is a tutorial on how to set up a file in Adobe Illustrator for print production and how to save that file using Copycraft's PDF presets. If you haven't installed Copycraft's PDF presets, please visit our support center. You can access the support center from any page within the Copycraft website by clicking on the support center link located in the navigation bar in the upper right hand corner. Once inside the Support Center, under the File Setup Guidelines section, click on the Read More link. Near the top of this page, you'll find a link to download our PDF presets. For more information on installing these PDF presets, see the video tutorial labeled Installing Copycraft's PDF Preset Settings. Once you've installed the Copycraft PDF presets, or if you've previously installed them, let's move on. Before beginning any design work, it's a good idea to download a template. Templates provide basic format, layout, and positioning for the document you'll be designing. Copycraft's templates also include any fold, score, bleed, and trim lines, which are critical to your document. There are two different ways you can access Copycraft's templates. First, you can click on the Templates link, located in the navigation bar in the upper right hand corner. On this page, you'll see a listing of templates by product. From here, find the product you need a template for, and click on that link. The other way you can access templates is to click on the Products link, located in the Product listing on the left hand side. From here, click on the Templates tab. As you can see, both ways of accessing templates took us to the same page for the business card templates. From here, use the drop down box to select the size or style of template you need. As you can see, for business cards, we have a 2 by 3.5 or 3.5 by 2 flat business card option and a folded business card option. Today we'll be working on a 3.5 by 2 flat business card, so I'll select that. Once I've selected the size or style of the template needed, a list will pop up with all the options for that template. As you can see here, we have a 2 by 3.5 square and round corner, and also a 3.5 by 2 square and round corner. We also offer templates in a variety of formats. Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, a generic JPEG, and a generic EPS option. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be working on the 3.5 by 2 size business card. For this tutorial, we're going to choose the square corner option. To download the template, select the format of template you need and then click on the icon. We'll be working out of Illustrator today, so I'll download the Adobe Illustrator template for the 3.5 by 2 square corner business card. Once downloaded, you can minimize your browser window. The template will be downloaded in a zip format. Double click on the file to unzip it. The unzipped folder will contain two files, the first being the template file itself, and then another file called README. It's a good idea to go ahead and open up the README file and read through it. It contains a print-ready checklist with information on how to properly set up files. Much of this information will be discussed in this tutorial. Once you've read through the README file, Let's go ahead and open up the template in Adobe Illustrator. Once the template is opened, you'll notice that many of the tips that you just read in the README file appear in the template. If you didn't read the README file, go ahead and take a moment to read through these tips. Once you're done, you can go ahead and delete them.
you are now looking at the core of the template. Let's take a look at a few things. First, in your layers palette, you should have three layers. One called guides, another one called instructions, and another one called your artwork. It's important to place any design work you do on the your artwork layer, or if you create new layers, be sure to place them below the guides and instructions layer. Once you've finished your design, you'll want to turn the guides and instructions layers off so they do not preview on the final artwork. You could also delete these layers. Deleting these layers ensures that they will not print on the final piece. For now, I'm going to go ahead and add those layers back to the template. Let's discuss some of the elements that appear on the template. I'm going to go ahead and turn the instructions off so they're not distracting. You'll notice three lines appear on the business card template. These three lines appear on all of the templates that Copycraft provides. The inside line is the safe area. The middle line is the crop or trim line. And the outside line is the bleed line. The bleed line is 1 8 inch bigger on each edge than the trim or crop line. When I'm adding any images or elements that go to the edge of the card, on the final printed piece, I want to ensure that they extend out past the trim and crop line by an eighth of an inch to the edge of the bleed area. Doing this ensures that my card will not print with a white border. As an example, I'll import a background I made for this tutorial earlier. Once I've imported it, I'll simply center it into the document. Notice I've placed my background on the layer 4 that I created earlier. I could have also placed it on the Your Artwork layer. As you can see, my background goes beyond the trim and crop line to the edge of the bleed line. Now let's discuss safe area. As a reminder, safe area is represented by the inside line. This is the area which text should stay within to avoid being trimmed off when the card is finished. As an example, I'll add some contact information to this card. As you can see, my text falls within the safe area. If I position this text outside the safe area, it could run the risk of trimming off. You should now have a basic understanding of how templates work and enough information to begin your design. Please remember to delete the guides and instructions layers once your design is complete. As I mentioned at the start of this video, it's a good idea before beginning any design work to use a template. For timing purposes on this tutorial, to show how you can use a template if your design is already done, and to finish demonstrating how to properly set up a file in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to use a business card design I created earlier for this tutorial. I'll go ahead and open up that design now. Again, opening it up in Adobe Illustrator. I'm also going to open up the template we downloaded earlier 